For example, in this news piece we're looking at, it says that valuations have reached the levels seen during the dot-com bubble. In other words, the proportion of the technology sector compared to other sectors has increased so much that it's become like it was during the dot-com era. Now, first of all, there's a flaw in the logic of this thinking here. In other words, assuming that the technology sector's proportion and its overall significance to other sectors today is precisely the same as it was back in 2000 is a fundamentally flawed assumption. Because there have been many breakthroughs in technology in America. Technology is always far ahead. So, whatever the peak was in 2000, today we're probably about 20% above that peak. However, only when a peak forms can it be said to be like those days. This is a bit like not taking the inflation difference into account. I can say it's something similar to that. It could be like an analysis done without considering the inflation difference. So, therefore, there are always those who say that bubbles are constantly forming and so on. But there's something more fundamental here. And that's this. This recent article published in the esteemed Wall Street Journal specifically stated that a new, emerging generation consistently perceives these market declines as opportune buying opportunities and actively supports the overall market. And then, it says here that the prominent financial services firm, Charles Schwab, recently conducted a comprehensive survey, and if there is a significant amount of market volatility in the upcoming period, in other words, if there are notable market declines and so on, a substantial 80% of the survey participants indicated they are seriously considering making new purchases. Now, while some people keep saying it's gone up too much, it's a bubble and so on, others are just waiting for it to drop a bit so they can buy. They buy whenever they get some money in their hands. That's how it happens. Real bubbles in the market and the process of forming these bubbles don't happen in just three or five weeks. They don't end quickly and actually get stronger over time. This is exactly what I've always tried to explain. I keep saying this bubble will get stronger, it will grow and turn into a zeppelin, and I end up regretting ever saying it. Why do I regret it? Because I say, look, this bubble is going to get really big, it'll turn into a zeppelin, alright? You're going to make a lot of money. These things are going to make people a lot of money. Just don't overextend yourselves, 